crazy fucking morning. But guys, let's not think for a second that this move by Zidane Zidane to resign, to step down as Real Madrid manager, or coach, whatever you want to call it, wasn't premeditated. Zidane is a very smart man. I know we all, you know, we all, even I sometimes, is prisoner of the moment. But sitting back and assessing the situation on why, the real reason why is it done? Basically, you know, step down as Real Madrid, Madrid manager, making history, repeating and basically winning the treble and of Champions League back to back to back, then quitting all of a sudden. And without, like, you know, without giving Perez no warning that she was gonna quit, this is a class organization, my man. They were white, you understand me? This is a class organization. Zidane hasn't been nothing but class ever since he came to Real Madrid. But Zidane, a man who could make unexpected decisions, right or wrong, woke up, headbutt Maserazi, for something disrespectful, but you know, Zidane's still unpredictable. Then Zidane over here just quitting Real Madrid, still unpredictable. But Zidane's tell you guys at the press conference why he quit in Real Madrid. Zidane stated that, you know, they had a terrible season and all along my videos I said Real Madrid not having a good season But if they could win back to back to back Champions League titles They'll qualify for next year Champions League and they'll also, you know, have a trophy that they could say Okay, Barcelona, you won the league even though you finish third, second, fourth or whatever We got the Champions League trophy. We made history People are gonna be talking about that side and say to you winning the, you know Who cares about Barcelona undefeated season or almost undefeated season now? You know, who cares about Barcelona one La Liga? You know, we celebrating Real Madrid winning the Champions League. We focusing on Liverpool all season. We focusing on Real Madrid all season. And Zinedine Zidane coming and shocking the world. Days after winning the Champions League title. It's fucked up. Zidane stated that, you know, Copa del Rio, they didn't do good. They're 17 points behind Barcelona, which Zidane said if he stayed, would have been a challenge for him to actually, you know, win trophies with the squad. This is where I salute Zidane Zidane for him to have guts to actually make this call. This is a beast, beast, beast. You know, this is a 100% 10 out of 10 move by Zidane Zidane. You just won the Champions League. You had a fucking terrible and horrible season. Before you get back into action, think about yourself twice. Next season is going to be definitely hard for you to top what you did because you bail yourself out for critics not to kill you in the offseason by winning the Champions League title. Now this is the best moment for you to walk away. A lot of people don't know how to walk away. This is your best moment to walk away. And Zidane actually walked away at the right moment. So I gotta salute him for that. And nowadays guys, we've seen that, you know, the players alongside the managers know how to play the game. I mean, playing the game by just, you know, dominating transfer market, knowing when the right time to resign, getting on another job, and so their career could keep going and they could have a long career because nowadays, man, if you stay and you fuck up your legacy, you're gonna be fucked up for, for some time. And look at Conte. If he had walked away from Chelsea like early and got the Italy, Italy job, he would have had less pressure. His name would have still been up there in the Premier League. Now we forgot that Conte won the league two years ago. You see how fucked up this shit is? But it is what it is. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. Definitely hit that bell button and get notified. I love you all. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it.